So a lot of people were also commenting that last night was the most woke Oscars ever. A lot of the presenters and award winners, including Regina King, the singer Her, and the filmmakers for Two Distant Strangers brought up social justice issues, specifically police brutality and Derek Chauvin. Plus, there were a lot of historic firsts. Chloe Zhao became the first woman of color to win Best Director and just the second women to win the award. That was, of course, for the movie uh, Nomenland, which was Best Picture. Mia Neal and Jamika Wilson became the first ever black stylist to win for Best Makeup and Styling for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. And Ya Jung Yuen became the second Asian woman and the first ever Korean to win an acting prize. She won Best Supporting Actor in Minari. So here's the question, DBL Nation. We want to hear from you we always do Oscars so white you guys remember that hashtag right it was a thing in 2015 does this year's award in your opinion prove this year's award show prove how far we've come does it feel like things have gotten better Al is there progress here I mean, I think the, the list of names that you just read tells us that it has. I think that it's so weird that we push for a change and we push for things to put progress and people listen, people agree, and it starts to happen and we see it with the list you just read and it, we still question, well, why is this happening? It's like, no, a lot of people feel like this. A lot of people feel like we should start to highlight everybody, no matter what your gender, how you identify. And so I'm here for it. I'm really happy with how things are going. I, I love the inclusivity because it gives kids at home something to look at, right? right? It's like, that could be me one day. Even, I'm 42 years old, I still dream, right? And I look at those presenters, just like you were reading those names, Sam, I thought of last night, I'm like, I could give those presentations one day. And then they started reading some of those names. I'm like, maybe I can't. <laughs> I can always dream. I can always dream. So it gives other people from everywhere something to look at and dream about. Representation does matter, but I have to ask you, you're in because I know you write down goals every yes. year. You want an Oscar one day? I mean I wouldn't shoo it away. <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, it would take one. Really hard hitting question, Sam. <laughs> Hit him in the corner there. Do you want a million dollars? Yes or no, to be honest. Who doesn't? <laughs> Viewers know that Jeff is an actor. I'm not an actor. Because he won't tell anybody. Okay, gotta go. Coming up on DBL, more Oscars talk. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier.